All right, guys, so quick question. How much do you know about mulch? What is it? How much should we use? And what's the right type? Well, we've got all those questions for you, <laughs> or all the answers to those questions from uh, horticulture educator Julia Laughlin here to give us those much needed answers to the mulch question. So I guess we'll start with it. Why is it time to mulch now? Right. And why is it a good time? Right, a, a lot of people try to put a mulch layer on their garden earlier than now, mm -hmm. but if you wait until about the middle of the, I always say mother's, Day, about the middle of May Perfect, to yep. put your mulch on the the ground has warmed up mm -hmm. so you know if you put it on early it keeps the mulch will keep the ground cold oh, and it smart. also it you know mulch holds the moisture in mm -hmm. and we always hopefully always have spring rains you know uh, we just we go. got them a lot of them didn't we <laughs> a lot <laughs> a lot of rain yes. but if you do it early um, they'll it'll keep it too wet and too cool so mm -hmm. we want to wait till about Mother's Day but most of us you know um, and we'll go out and weed everything and make it look really good or you know plant your flowers in your yep. flower bed or whatever or vegetables if you plant vegetables and then once you get all of that done and it by mulching you can put this really pretty like icing on the cake you know ah, what I mean? I like it yeah it is it's kind of like you get everything done and you know by this time of you know early late spring I guess and then you put that mulch on there and it's done yes. and then the mulch will go ahead and hold the moisture in when you irrigate it'll keep it wet mm -hmm. and it'll keep the weeds out so it's a it's pretty but it's functional yeah too. functional so, and uh, looks good so we got a few different examples yes. here can you yep. quickly tell me about uh, yep. what we the, could use the first one is compost you can yes. buy it in a bag it's my favorite mm -hmm. because when you put compost on it's feeding the soil because it's organic you right. know it's, and this one is straw most people use straw for vegetable gardens it makes sense you know because you can walk on it it uh, keeps the mud out and stuff there we go. and then there's bark and and this one's real popular I like bark on my pathways you know mm -hmm. that I'm walking on too so they're all great the the finer the mulch like compost is very fine yes. and straws very coarse and the the finer the mulch the thinner you go so you just put a Good thin layer of the of the compost on uh -huh. but on straw or bark you could put on a couple two or three inches and you know because it's coarse it lets oxygen through so there we go there yep. we go Julie you always work. have the, the greatest answers <laughs> to our uh, garden needs you know so if you want it to look good and be functional we know who to call um, right. well there you go thank you so much thank you Mark. absolutely and of course you can drop by the Oklahoma County OSU Extension Center on Northeast 63rd Street in OKC to find out a little more or give them a call 405-713-1125 and you can also visit extension.okstate.edu